All right, Proverbs 4 is what, well, actually, I, the first one I picked was um, 28, but we just did that one, I believe. It was 28 and 24 or something like that. But um, so there you go. So if you uh, want to read over uh, Proverbs 28 again on your own and see if you get your own uh, message, message directly from source, um, God creator, then that might be a good thing to do because 28 came out first. So that, you know, was just kind of, that's why I put them back in each time instead of leaving them out like I um, was doing for myself in the beginning just so I could um, go through all the Proverbs. But the reason I put them back in was for that exact reason to see if they came back out of, out again and um, which I would interpret as that being a, um, an important message. So Proverbs 28, okay, but we're going to just do uh, four, which was the next one that I picked. So um, I'm just going to do one quick short one today. Yeah, it's pretty short actually. <clears throat> okay, so so the bold title of Proverbs, and it's on page 689 of my, um, you know, the one that I'm always using, okay, Precious Moments, um, New King James Version, okay. just looking at the 271G. Okay. Anyway. So, security in wisdom. All right. Hear, my children, the instruction of a father, and give attention to no understanding. For I give you good doctrine, do not forsake my law. When I was my father's son, tender and the only one in the sight of my mother. Tender and the, oh, because they capitalized it just because it started the new line. So I, yeah, so when I was my, fa when I was my father's son, tender and the only one in the sight of my mother, he also taught me and said to me, let your heart retain my words, keep my commandments and live. Get wisdom, exclamation point. Get understanding, exclamation point. Do not forget nor turn away from the words of my mouth. Do not forsake her and she will preserve you. Okay, so look at the security in wisdom. Okay, remember the mother, the feminine aspect of God is Bina. Okay, the womb, wise, wisdom, okay. So, um, that's why they called women who knew their divine feminine essence, they call them witches. It just means wit, which means wise, okay? Hag is from hagio, which means holy. Um, so we've, you know, all these words have been, um, given a negative connotation because, um, these women, you know, they held a lot of power and wisdom embodying the divine feminine, um, and it could still be a loving, nurturing, caring wife and all that, but wasn't, um, you know, she knew her own power as the divine feminine. Okay. So security and wisdom. So, that, okay. So it's saying she, Get wisdom, get understanding. Do not forget nor turn away from the words of my mouth. Do not forsake her and she will preserve you. Love her and she will keep you. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And in all you're getting, get understanding. Exalt her and she will promote you. I'm, I'm getting like... kind of emotional because it's like, you know, honoring the mother, you know. 
the uh, the resurrection of the divine feminine is what I'm getting. It's like um, it's a beautiful emergence, but it's painful, you know. There's been a lot of uh, oppression of the of the feminine. And that's not to say, you know, so in men too, this is what I'm saying, there's a lot of damage that's been done in both men and women, okay? And starting off as from childhood, you know, um, because we both, um, male and female, both, you know, gay, straight, male, female, we all have masculine and feminine within and the masculine has been distorted and when that happens it destroys the feminine so you know she's being restored the mother you know do not forsake her and she will preserve you love her and she will keep you wisdom is the principal thing therefore get wisdom and in all you're getting get understanding exalt her and she will promote you she will bring you honor when you embrace her she will place on your head an ornament of grace <clears throat> I'm getting choked up okay I need to like swallow <clears throat> clear my throat <clears> throat> okay. a crown of glory she will deliver to you Hear my son and receive my sayings, and the years of your life will be will be many. See, so it's like honor if you're honoring the divine feminine within yourself, within all, within all of creation, nature, each other, honoring the divine feminine. Okay, so hear my son and receive my sayings, and the years of your life will be many. I have taught you in the way of wisdom. I have led you in right paths. Right. Left, right. Okay. When you walk, your steps will not be hindered. And when you run, you will not stumble. Take firm hold of instruction. Do not let go. Keep her, for she is your life. <clears throat> do not enter the path of the wicked and do not walk in the way of evil avoid it do not travel on it right this is when we we don't honor the mother and we oppress the divine feminine that's what wickedness is it's evil Because it's a distortion. It's, it's not the divine true essence of masculine and feminine. Okay, so avoid it, do not travel on. Turn away from it and pass on, for they do not sleep unless they have done evil. And their sleep is taken away unless they, have, unless they make someone fall. For they eat the bread of wick wickedness and drink the wine of violence. But the path of the just is like the shining sun that shines ever brighter unto the perfect day. The way of the wicked is like darkness. They do not know what makes them stumble. In that word, ignorance was coming to me yesterday. I ignorance is when we ignore. Ignorance, darkness, you know, when we're in the dark about something. Ignorance is when we're choosing to ignore something. It's a choice whether we consciously are aware of that we are choosing to ignore truth and when you want truth you want the whole truth and nothing but the truth so no matter how dark it can get when you're a truth seeker it's all or nothing So yeah, ignorance and darkness and stumbling, you know, you're choosing to ignore, choosing not to see. 
My son, give attention to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Do not let them de depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart. Heart. Keep God's words in your heart. For they are life to those who find them and health to all their flesh. Yeah, God's word restores God's truth, no matter how painful, <laughs> you know, we just want the truth, right? Keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it spring the issues of life. So no matter what, no matter how much it hurts, just like I said, stay in your heart space. Pull away from you a deceitful mouth. Put away from you a deceitful mouth. And put perverse lips far from you. Let your eyes look straight ahead and your eyelids look right before you. Ponder the path of your feet and let all your ways be established. So be aware of every step that you take and let it be purposeful. Every step be purposeful. Be aware of each step and let each step be purposeful. Ponder the path of your feet and let all your ways be established. Do not turn to the right or the left. Remove your foot from evil. So as long as you just keep putting one foot in front of the other on that path of faith and let each step be meaningful and be consciously aware of each step that you're taking that's how you remove yourself from evil awareness by being aware of the full truth Do not turn to the right or the left. Right, you need to be aware that there's a right or there's a left, right? But you choose, you're choosing to remove your foot from evil. And that's what we do when we're humble servants of God. We just, you know, there is something above us and it's the one who created us. So, and we were created... And that reflection, that image, that love, that's encoded in the light of God. Where everything is perfect, perfectly harmonized. So, just a quick little Bible study. Sorry, sorry it was a little bit late today. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I love you all. Blessings to you all and peace be upon you all.